Let's have a look at question 9 in this video. So Cruzo can make 5 units of food per day if he spends all his time on that. He can also make 10 units of clothing if he spends whole time on that. Um, now, if he divides the time between the two activities, the output will be proportional to the time spent on each. The corresponding figures for Friday are 10 units of food and 15 units of clothing. What is the production possibilities frontier? Now, I wrote here this data for Cruzo, 5 units of food, 10 units of clothing for Friday, 10 units of food, 15 units of clothing if we spend all the time doing one or the other. One thing to keep in mind that will matter in this question is this. If he divides the time between the two activities, the output will be proportional to the time spent on each. Now, what is the intuition here? Because we're speaking about proportion and the relationship between the output and the time spent, what is the time spent? That is the input. That is the work required to get the food and the clothing. So in other words, this is a production function of two people and their input is the time to produce and their output is the goods they produce. And because that's proportional, we're speaking about constant returns to scale constant returns to scale and that's gonna matter for our production possibilities frontier graph that we're gonna draw right now now let's do it so we will have a graph which will have the quantity of food produced quantity of food produced and the quantity of clothes produced quantity of clothes produced now we're speaking about two individuals here so we must know what would be the total production of food if they only produce food what's gonna be the total production of clothing if they only produce clothing. In other words, we're looking for the intercepts. So in the case of food, if Cruzo produces food only, he'll make five uh, units. Friday would make 10. So we would have in total 10, uh, 15, 15 units of food. That would be this intercept. And in the case of clothing, we would have 10 from Cruzo, 15 from Friday. So that would be 25. That would be 25. Now, how to connect this? We must connect them with a straight line. So we must connect them with a straight line because we're speaking about constant returns to scale. And in case you don't know why we must connect it with a straight line, have a look at my video uh, in the microeconomics playlist where I explain the relationship between the returns to scale and the slope of the production possibilities frontier. So the production possibilities frontier will be a straight line over here like that. And the question is, what are they actually going to produce? What's going to be the optimal point here? And we must think about what are they relatively better at? Since there are only two people here, they must decide each of them how much is going to do because it's not wise to dilute your effort in both directions to produce some of clothing, some of food. It's wiser to focus and they're going to focus on what they're relatively better. In other words, if we have a look at Crusoe, we can see that he produces twice as much clothing relative to food. So he's twice as better, twice as better at clothing relative to food. If we look at Friday, Friday is only 1.5 times better at clothing than food because she produces 15 instead of 10. So only 1.5 times more. Now we can see that Cruzo is better at clothing compared to Friday. So he's relatively better, meaning he should go for clothing. So Cruzo would go for clothing and obviously the other one will go for the other good. So Friday should go for food production. Now, if they focus on that and they spend all the time on clothes and food respectively, clo clothing and food respectively, uh, Cruzo would make 10 units of clothing, 10 units of clothing. Friday would make 10 units of food. So the optimal point should be on this production possibilities frontier because of course it's possible to produce that. That's the definition. 10 units of food, 10 units of clothing. Let's say that would probably somewhere over here. So if we do it like that, it would be somewhere over here. 10 units of food and 10 units of clothing. Hope this makes sense and we are done.